Hey guys, it's Brandon from Edge of the Woods coming to you from the greenhouse, from the nursery greenhouse. Um, just wanted to show off some of our nice springtime wildflowers that we have coming in and looking really great. Um, a lot of these are nursery propagated right here um, by our own seed or divisions. Really, really nice plants. Have some wild bleeding heart. Dicentra eczemia. This is just a little baby, but already look at the flower coming. That's awesome. Another Dicentra. This is Dicentra cucularia or Dutchman's Britches. They're just starting to form little flowers there. Really cute plant. Really, really neat. True ephemeral. Foliage will die back shortly after it blooms um, and goes to seed. Right behind it here we have some Columbine, Eastern Red Columbine. It's just about to bloom. You can see the little lantern-like flower buds just hanging there. This one here is just starting to burst open. Pretty soon those will be in full bloom. Really pretty, really nice. Really nice starter plant there. This little yellow guy here is Marsh Marigold. Um, this is a wetland plant. You can grow this in pretty wet, soggy soil. Um, you can even grow it in a pot in your pond, if you have a pond in your backyard. Um, really cute little spring plant. It does like shade. It will go dormant in the summer fairly rapidly if it's out in full sun, especially if it isn't moist enough. Um, but if you keep it good and moist and keep it partly to fully shaded, um, the foliage will persist for most of the summer. But you're going to only have these little blooms in the early spring. Really charming little plant. This guy here is just about finished blooming, but you can see the new flush of foliage peeping up. That looks really nice, huh? This is our native Pachysandra, or also known as Allegheny Spurge, Pachysandra procumbens. It gets these weird kind of funky little flower formations here. Really weird inflorescence, but the flowers are very fragrant. Really nice smell. You don't get that with the, with the Japanese Pachysandra. And unlike the Japanese Pachysandra, our native is also far less aggressive. So a really nice little clumping perennial, slow to establish ground cover, and I use that term loosely. This is always a favorite of everybody's in the spring, the Virginia Bluebells, or Mertensia virginica, as we know it best. Got these big leaves, big soft kind of velvety smooth leaves, and of course the charming blue bell-shaped flowers that hang there. Gorgeous plant, absolutely gorgeous. Another true ephemeral will go dormant in the summer. Um, it will persist longer in the garden, uh, again with some shade, but come the heat of the summer this guy's gonna turn yellow, die back to the ground, and he'll wait until next spring to see you again. These are wild geraniums, geranium maculatum. Gets a pink flower. Of course, they're not blooming quite yet. Um, really beautiful, thick clumping perennial. Spreads easily in the garden. Easy to propagate on your own. You can divide, you can split, you can spread seed. Uh, it's just great. It blooms for a long time. It's a really nice complement to a lot of these other plants, especially the, the Mertensia. It can be a really nice complement on the years where the Mertensia doesn't beat it to blooming. Um, early. It's also a great complement to this plant right over here, the wood poppy. Um, the wood poppy is another yellow blooming flower. It's about a foot and a half tall with the bloom, maybe even less. Really interesting foliage, got that heavily dissected leaf. If you break a leaf, it kind of oozes this yellowish sap. It's a neat plant. Another pink bloomer. This is Phlox stolonifera, running phlox, creeping phlox, whatever you want to call it. Super cool, super pretty, another loose ground cover, a good plant to grow among some of the ephemerals like the bluebells or the Dicentra cucularia um, because it will hold its own, it will keep its place, it won't get too aggressive that it would be a danger of choking these guys out. Um, but it will hold its space in the garden long after the others have gone dormant for the summer. 
another ephemeral. These are some trilliums, that classic three leaf, right? Trilliums. So these, of course, are not going to bloom this year, but they are a nice size. It's a nice trillium in that pot. It's a good looking plant. This is Trillium Ludium. Trillium Ludium is always noted for having these washed out blotchy patterns on the leaves, but there are other trilliums that do that. Trillium Ludium is a yellow flowering species. Really pretty. We have Trillium Graniflorum, we have Trillium Sulcatum, we have Trillium Erectum, and we have Trillium Sessile, um, along with the Trillium Ludium. So we got five species of Trillium this year. Pretty cool. The, be able to offer those and this little guy as diminutive as it is this is um, hepatica or American anemone if you want to call it that liverwort I like the name hepatica it's not its technical name anymore but this is sharp lobed hepatica it's got the sharp point at the end of the leaf as opposed to the blunt lobed hepatica which has a round leaf mostly white some of them can be tinged with a little bit of pinkish or purple, but it's a really charming little flower, really nice clumper, kind of evergreen foliage too. And right along with the evergreen foliage, this guy here, the barren strawberry, the Waldstenia, really cool plant. This is another uh, clumping semi-ground cover plant. It does spread about, it's not super aggressive. Um, gets these little yellow flowers there in the spring. Really pretty foliage, especially um, in the fall and the winter. It kind of turns this coppery, bronzy color. Really cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and stay tuned. We'll show off some more stuff. Um, I hope you like this video, and I hope you like some of these plants. They're really cool. If you have that ideal spot, that partly shaded or fully shaded garden, um, good drainage for a lot of these guys, except the marigold, of course. This guy likes wet soil. Um, feel free to ask us any questions about any of these plants. We'll do our best to answer, and uh, thanks again for watching.